Hello guys, Freshly here again, and today we are back with a new video, and this is the release of the VP Maxer. So this is designed to max your Cellbot suit without you having to do ever a factory or a VP. And this is done by first injecting Toonbot, which can be found in the video just here, and then injecting the script in the description, which is called just the VP Max. Just inject that, and it will say Toonbot, VP Max added to Toonbot. So then you scroll down to whichever, scroll down to, to a VP Maxer, then you load the script. So it has an about option here telling you about the script. So it says everything about it. It has options here, so filter on, card filter on and off. It's got eight cards, and there is also the source code to this script in the description, which won't actually run properly. So you're best off running it with Toonbot. And but that but that source code is designed to give credit to everyone who whose uh, functions I'm using or whatever. So if you want to know exactly who created all the functions in the script, most of it is by me. But there are a few things in there which uh, are not by me. So make sure you check that out. And it's got the links to the people's channels. So if you want to go to subscribe to them, you can. So let's continue. So I'm going to do. So it's got this here, the runtime, number of VPs, VPs in our suits, where it's needed. So to start a script, you have to press start and stop, and to stop, to, stop script, un, stop it, and then unload script will unload it. So then that means you can run another script, for example, we'll just run that. Anyway, let's continue. So load the script or pressing load script. And then when you press start, you set up all the options here, press start. And it will continue. So this is a an Uber actually. It's only a two track Uber, which is why it's only 19 laugh. But I'm actually on Hollywood level 26 because the Ubers can now do the factory or two track people without law or tune up can do the factory now. So that's good. So you can definitely see there when you got two tracks. So that does this is it tunes up. Uh, for using treasures from loaded uh, playgrounds, so you can watch it here. It sometimes dies if it dies in the last battle, though, due to it not being able to tune up. It will, it will probably end up not getting the merits that it needs. So be aware of that. It might not. It says it in here if it, you don't receive the merits. So this is a scroll. You can scroll through it. Has a runtime, number of VPs, you have VPs an hour, suits, merits needed. The runtime can be quite useful as well, you know, just to see how long it's been running for, because sometimes you can't keep track of that. And suits are very useful because you can't, it's annoying to open your book to check when you're running it. And do only factories are also very useful if you just want it to be a factory or tour. Because some people want to be able to do the VP. See, it just died there as well, but it waits until it tunes up and then it starts tacking again, which is useful. This is died recovering. So I can't actually die in here either, which is another thing that's fixed from the previous. See, it waits until it's fully tuned up before it attacks, because otherwise you could die quite easily if you don't have, um. Oh no, it waits until it's 75% of its health. So if you don't have like tune up um on like a one three seven if you're doing this on a one three seven which would be highly unrecommended then it would wait until your uh
wait until you're at 102 laugh before it would attack. And you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna go down 102 laugh from this thing anyway. Like you better go down 19 from these guys. Sasha Stone the Foreman died again. Always dies in the form of for Foreman. If you're like below 25 laugh or something, it will die every attack because they're too high of hitting, too high hitting. So it waits until it tunes up before it goes back into the battle. I need 1,000 merits, so it might be a while until it'll I'll be able to shut doing a VP. So once I've just done this, here you go. So it got the merits, completed it. It's so now I need 957. So I'll be back when it can do a VP. Anyway, so I've had to go onto a different account because uh, the other account didn't have enough merits. So when you go into the VP, it instantly, well, as soon as you go into the lobby, it instantly goes straight to the elevator, just like this. So now says in the log, you know, doing the vice president, whatever. This is actually the fastest VP auto that's going to be released. So far, I don't know whether, like, other people are going to release faster ones where you uh, can skip the elevator, because I have not found a way to do that. But, you know, that's the one that makes it the slowest uh, part of it. Otherwise, it would do, like, a million VPs an hour. So now it's doing straight to the VP. And it skipped the skipped the elevator and the intro instantly. Now it's going to skip the battle. And as soon as it goes into the battle, it skips it. So it does make sure that the battle things come up first. And it skips the dialogue as well. And it's going to skip the other battles, skip the pie round. It doesn't skip the victory because it couldn't find a way to do that. But that's fine because the victory is literally like a few seconds long. So now as soon as it enters the epilogue, which is what this is called, it finishes it. And now it's going straight back to the factory. Actually, I'm not going to end the video here. I'm going to keep showing this account doing the factory, just so then you can kind of see an idea of what it looks like to do the factory on this account, and uh, what it looks like to do on a factory with tune up and lure. And I didn't explain either that it you can you can have an Uber with two tracks with just just throw level six, or you can have a, a three track with just lure or tune up, or you can have like, or you can have the all four of the tracks, so all all three three of the tracks that you need. But you can have either tune up or either lure. So people that are tune up less can still use this, and people that are lure less can still use this. So yeah, that's good, I guess, for people like that. And thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next release video.